QUT, like many institutions around the world, is committed to the development of outstanding learning environments. And as part of this commitment, we wanted to ensure that our development process was informed by a clear understanding of the elements that constitute effective learning spaces. Here's where we started. The PST framework, with its emphasis on pedagogy, space and technology, has provided a useful starting point for the development of learning spaces globally. But as we explored the PST framework in depth, we began to wonder if there was a missing element. People. After all, it's people who'll be using the spaces. So we decided to start our research by talking to people. We interviewed dozens of university academics, students, professionals and support staff to hear about what they thought was important. Their insights were invaluable. It's really about giving a degree of autonomy and uh, I guess empower students to focus on the tasks that they're learning rather than to be sitting there listening to um, an academic drone on. Even the colour of the carpets and the walls to make it warm and inviting for students to just really be engaging in their learning in a space that they feel very comfortable in. It would probably need to be one that's non-threatening, that's inclusive, so that they can think, yes, I, I can be here and I should be here and I have what it takes to be here. It was raining, so we couldn't work in the botanic garden, so I came over to the space under the building there. Anyway, the next day I got an email back saying that I didn't have permission to use the space because uh, I hadn't applied seven days before. So because it's raining, we can't use this, you know, what, what do we cancel the classes? Because I have to have seven days notice if I want to use the undercroft. In a learning space where everything seems quite seamless and technology is easy to use, to access, to distribute to the students, then I think students will take away a very positive um, learning experience with them. Make sure that you're um, creating environments that can be flexible and open to new opportunity. The social spaces are also learning spaces, that the spaces have lots of opportunity for um, outside the classroom collaboration. What we're after is something that's um, reasonably economic and is easy to maintain. And uh, by maintenance I mean you know, the physical repairing things but also things like cleaning, um, uh, the operates well doesn't in, impact on adjacent neighbours. Increasingly the curriculum requires students to work in groups and of course there's a technology aspect to that as well but we need to be clever about the deployment of the technology so it's there but it's not technology for technology's sake and that it's able to be used and is presented or supplied in such a way that it doesn't impinge on the space if you like. We collected these thoughts, analysed, grouped and developed them into a new framework for designing or retrofitting university learning spaces. This new framework integrates pedagogy, space, technology and people and is made up of four key design elements – engagement, empowerment, ease of use and confidence. And within these elements are eight principles based on our research that we believe make an effective learning space. Our evidence shows that spaces should support a range of learners and learning activities, provide a quality experience for users, help foster a sense of emotional and cultural safety, enable easy access by everyone, emphasise simplicity of design, integrate seamlessly with other physical and virtual spaces, be fit for purpose now and into the future and embed a range of appropriate, reliable and effective technologies. These principles can be applied to create simple, affordable and scalable solutions to help improve the quality of existing learning spaces. Here are just a few of the 25 simple ideas we've come up with for redeveloping university learning spaces. Don't try to get it perfect and don't make any changes that can't be easily revised in the future as learning styles, needs and users evolve. Start at the bottom. When selecting chairs, think about your investment. Quality chairs may be a bit more expensive, but they can support the students for longer activities. Free the technology. Consider mobile LCDs and laptops that can be moved around, even taken outside the room, and still remain connected to digital resources and back-end systems. Think beyond the four walls. 
spaces around the university campus, like corridors and outdoor areas, can be refitted for quiet study, breakout group work, extension activities and general student interaction. These are just some of the practical solutions that have been developed from our evidence-based research. Based on trials conducted, we're confident that our framework will result in better learning spaces for staff and students. Visit us on the web for more details.